What's up guitar legends, Sam Wilde here. We're looking at another Disney song today from Jungle Book, I Wanna Be Like You. All right, we have the capo on fret three. Now I'm gonna show you, if you look at the structure, I'm gonna show you how to play verse one, and then we have a chorus, then verse two, which is same as verse one, another chorus. Uh, so basically we have two parts to learn. Okay, right at the end of the chorus, there is additional turnarounds, if you like. Now, this song is in a traditional jazz style, trad jazz. So, just bear in mind, if you actually play along to the original recording, you'll find that there are lots of solos, lots of instrumental parts. But for, the, for most of the time, it just goes around the verse chords and the chorus chords, all right? But most of you will be able to just play this on your own, okay? You get the lyrics up if you want to sing, obviously, and you can just kind of sing along the verse, chorus, verse, chorus. So let's start with the verse part. We're gonna go between A minor and E7. All right, now guys, we have the same rhythm for the whole song, pretty much, all right? It's, it's really simple. But first, just look at these chords and make sure you know these, all right? For E7, I would use finger one and two, because then you're just moving up from the A minor shape is quite a small little movement if you do it that way. So it's gonna sound like this. Now I'm making the swings on the jungle VIP. I used the top and had to stop them, that's what's bothering me. It just goes round and round this little progression. So have a look at this timing, all right? You'll notice that the E7 comes in at a strange place, so does the A minor. All right, so if we count, we have one, two, three, four, 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 right? Now I'm the king. And then it goes round for a second time. Now the rhythm, really simple. We're just gonna play down, down, up, down, up, down, up, again and again. Now you'll notice I emphasize beats two and four because that's what the drums do. So you're kind of imitating that. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. You don't have to do that. This is kind of a more secondary, advanced addition to the rhythm. You can just keep it simple. Down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, 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 down. Just make sure that it's bouncy, okay? This song is swung, it's not straight. Okay, so let me show you what it would sound like straight. Okay, everything, duh, 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 everything's even. But when it's swung, it's bouncier. Just bear that in mind. Now, in terms of changing chords, all right, I always change chord on the very last uh, up of the rhythm. So just before the chord changes, you're going from up as you change, then you hopefully change by the time you come back down again to start the new rhythm. So watch. You can see I'm changing on the up. <laughs> All right, we've learned part one, so just try and play along with me. We're gonna try and do a double verse together. All right, I'm gonna show you how we transition into the chorus. So it's important that you pay attention here. Try and play along as well if you can. Here we go, after four. One, two, one, two, three, four. I'm king of the swing zone, jungle VIP. I reached the top and had to stop, and that's what's bothering me. So what we had there was a G chord right at the end, on the very last beat, okay? On the second verse, because this brings us into the chorus. Okay, so just watch this very last line. Those other men, I'm tired of looking around. Oh. 
So we're just gonna hit the A minor once, and then we'll hit the G chord once as well, right at the end there. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Do we do? So have a look at the G major chord. There's a few ways of playing G major. I mean, in this instance, I tend to play it like this just because of where the A minor chord was before. You can play it like this, which I actually do for the chorus at certain points, but it doesn't matter because you're just hitting it once. As long as you play the G chord, I'm happy, all right? So play the second verse with me, just so you understand how we're gonna go into the chorus here. So not the first verse, second verse. After four, one, two, oh, one, two, three, four. I wanna be a man, man girl. Now for the chorus, we have some different chords. We've essentially gone from the minor key in the verse to the relative major key in the chorus, right? So we're still in the same key, but the vibe goes from minor to major. It's really cool, um, really cleverly done. It happens a lot in traditional jazz as well. So for the chorus, we're gonna have C, then we go to A7, to D7, quick change to G, I like to play G7, then C, G. All right, so let's just work on this first part. Okay, we have C major, so have a look at this shape. Make sure you know this, very beginner shape. Pause the video if you need to though. A7, now for A7, watch carefully. We leave finger two where it is, but the third finger comes down to B string second fret. Then you get a very nice smooth change from C to A7. So just work on this little finger change here. All right. And also, the next chord is D7, right? So all we need to do is move this shape down one string. You see that the fingers are still the same distance apart. All right. But you add the first finger on as well for D7 to B1. So we add C to A7. Move it down, add the first finger. D7. G7, if you want to keep it simple, you can just play G major, guys. You don't have to play G7. All right, but I like the movement. You get this. Nice chromatic movement in there if you do it this way. All right, so for G7, have a look at the fingers here. All right, finger one stayed where it was pretty much, but it moved down a string. But the other two have to jump right up here. Third finger is third fret, second finger is second fret on the A string here. Okay, so that's the first half of the chorus. For the end of the first chorus, we're gonna go from this G7, we're gonna play C again, G. So personally, I like to do the G, the last G, like this. You can play like this if you want. But to be honest, I just do it this way because it's easier to change from C major but you can do your normal beginner G chord if you want to, it makes no difference, all right? The second chorus is gonna have a slightly different ending. We're gonna play C, F, C, E7, which brings us into verse two. So just to clarify, this first chorus we have now, it repeats, all right? It happens twice. The first chorus ends with this, E7, G7, comes back round. The second repeat, however, we're gonna play it like this. D7, G7, C, F, C, E7. Now, in the actual original, it doesn't play an E7. Uh, you can hear a G instead, but that's just because they go around a bunch of solos, okay? So the G would bring you back round to the chorus. solo over the chords if you want. But we're gonna just go straight into verse two, which means our ending has to be E7 ideally. So it takes us to A minor. So we know C already, don't have to worry about that. We uh, have a look at F, however. Now I play like this. Okay, some of you might struggle to do this version. You can do here, this version if you want. So I just brought some of the fingers down there, it's less of a stretch. Or you can not bother with the thumb play like this, very similar to C major. And then we 
have our E7 chord, which we already know. So, have a go at playing this whole chorus with me, all right, just so you understand what's going on here. All right, then we'll uh, have a quick look at verse two. For those of you that want to take your playing to the next level, make sure you sign up to my premium membership website. You'll gain access to all my backing tracks, all of my lessons, and I'll teach you how to improvise, solo, and play advanced chords. Enjoy the rest of your lesson, guys. Ready, a one, two, a one, two, three, four. All right, verse two was exactly the same as verse one. So we don't have to learn anything new here, all right? You play exactly the same thing as verse one, which is awesome. So this takes us to the second chorus. And guess what, guys? It's the same as the first chorus, which is amazing. The only thing we have to watch out for is there's a little turnaround at the end of the chorus. So just listen to how I play this. So the chorus starts the same. Ooh. So what happens in this final chorus is we just repeat the little turnaround part a few times. Now there's a few ways we can play this turnaround. All right, we can keep it simple so we can just play D7, G7, C, A7, D7, G7, C. And then we finish here. Okay, so this, the final C as well. So we finish on one, two. Okay, one, two, three, four, one, two. So I just do down, down, right at the end there. Ba, ba. Okay, this is how the song actually finishes as well when you listen to the recording. Okay, so again, the simple version is just playing G7, G7, C to A7. Now, if you want to make it a little bit more advanced, all right, and by the way, if you're a beginner, you can play along to the advanced version. It will still fit doing this beginner version. All right, but the advanced version, we're gonna play this. So it all happens here, C. So we play C, then we have B7. Okay, it looks like this is a bar chord, so you might struggle with this a little bit. We shift it down a fret to get a connecting B flat seven. And then we have A7 here. Now, we, we usually were playing A7 like this, weren't we? But just because of the way we've done this, we have different fingers for A7 now, which is fine. It doesn't matter, all right? So D7, G7, C. So I'll play C like this, down, down, up. But I'm changing on the up. All right, so down, 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 down. So this chromatic part, we're just playing down, down, down. So you really have the rhythm in your head still ticking over. As soon as we get to A7, we can go back to the normal rhythm, but the chromatic part is different. So you see. The advanced version is going to sound like this. You see it's true.
right, that is everything. Well done for getting this far, guys. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. Make sure you subscribe as well. Hit the notification bell icon. It's time for the play along, so it's your chance to play with me. We'll go through the entire song. I will have the chord and the rhythm diagrams up so that you can really follow along with me much easier. All right, you just it just takes repetition. You're just gonna have to go over it several times. Uh, you might even wanna keep pausing the video and just playing through it slowly whenever you get stuck, all right? Good luck with it, guys. I'll see you in the next lesson. One, two.